One of the greatest mysteries in human inquiry is how activity in brain cells or neurons give rise to the broad spectrum of high-level brain functions such as thinking, planning, remembering, imagining and so on. There's a lot of evidence suggesting that these uh, brain functions must arise in interactions among thousands of interconnected neurons in the brain. But we haven't really been able to measure these interactions in any way so far. With the recordings from single cells, we have been able to uncover the elements of the space circuit, such as grid cells, but we haven't been able to understand how they work together. Now there is a revolution going on in the field of neuroscience because it is suddenly have become possible to record activity from many thousands of neurons with known connectivity at the same time. And in our lab we are introducing two state-of-the-art tools. First, neuropixels probes that allow us to record the electrical activity of thousands of neurons. And second, two photon miniscopes uh, that can be carried on a mouse's head uh, and allow us to visualize the activity in the brain as a mouse is solving a cognitive task. In order to understand brain computation, experiments are not enough. We need to also develop and test theoretical ideas or models of how computation arises. Joram Burak is a computational neuroscientist and a theoretical physicist who has developed models of how spatial firing patterns arise in large populations of interconnected neurons. My research team and I develop theories for how neural networks in the brain operate and compute. We think that there is now an unprecedented opportunity to examine the validity of such theories at a very detailed and mechanistic level. By designing experiments together with the Moser Lab for this purpose in which hundreds and thousands of neurons will be simultaneously monitored and perturbed, we will test for the first time existing classical theories of neural computation in the brain, and we also expect to greatly refine our theoretical understanding. These models, called Continuous Attractor Network models, were developed at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem in the 1980s. There is still no place on Earth that better understands and better moves forward these models than the computational environment at the Hebrew University. Our goal is to pioneer the investigation of one cognitive function, spatial orientation, that we believe have all elements in place for a breakthrough mechanistic understanding to take place. This brain circuit is well described, we know the cell types, we know their properties, and spatial orientation is easy to measure in rats and mice. My group members at the Hebrew University and I are absolutely thrilled at the opportunity to collaborate on this with Edvard, Maybrit and all the other superb team members at NTNU. Joram Burak is, in my opinion, the leading theoretician of his generation in this field. The impact of this project will extend beyond the field of spatial navigation because attractor network theories have been proposed for a number of brain functions. There are continuous attractor networks probably throughout the brain in many systems and by understanding it in the space system I believe that we can actually understand computation for a wide spectrum of brain functions such as oculomotor integration, working memory, decision-making. The project will pave the way for a better understanding of how the brain produces high-level cognitive functions. This will in turn allow us to understand the causes of diseases where these high-level functions are compromised, such as in neurological diseases and psychiatric syndromes.